Alright guys, today we're going to be making these bottles and some witches potions. Hope you enjoy. Make sure you have a white and green pant. And we'll begin. Just do a little dab. And just keep doing dabs. And then you'll put the green paint over. So, I'll show you up close. It's hard to see. But it has like this frosted type, which I love for making uh, spells. This is my first video making something. Um, and then we'll have another one coming out to me as well. Now, it might just be my paint. I don't think it is, but my paint looks like a um, rotten mozzarella. So, I think that might be a little why. But you want to dab it. You want to take your tip and just keep on dabbing. Um, I say you can do anything you want at the top. I'm going to put brown at the top because it will look like it has an attachment. So far, this looks like a really frosted bottle. That's what it's supposed to look like. Old, dusty, frosted. Oh, more. In the bottle. Mm. I take a little while and I try to spill it as fast as I can. When I'm done this part, I'm gonna go over there and cut so it's quicker. <laughs> don't do that don't swing the bottle it's out of you right now but we're gonna cut all right everyone we are back this bottle looks great I'm gonna cut this video into three parts each bottle because we have two more but this is going great so far, halfway done. Um, yeah, and if you want to do like a full good video about waking, making like witches spells and a spell book and all that, go to Wicked, Wicked Makers on YouTube. They are what I got inspired by. That's by the making videos I got inspired by them. Um, by making these real videos, that new guy and a few other YouTubers that I used to watch. And there's a tag, so. Uh, and this. So, I'm kind of seeing a little bit of, like, starting to turn into a bottle. You ever seen, like, a wine bottle? It's starting to look like it's, like, red, like, red wine would be in there. Actually, you can probably see it looks a lot different from the beginning. But I put it next to this one, then to see how much it's been painted. And I'm going to 
and cut to them like right there on the bottle. Set down. All right, guys. I just have to say, I love this bottle. I like just finished it. And look at that. That's that's what it should look like. Now if you wanna make like bumpy looking kinda of type like something like you could use oatmeal. You can use hot or the hot glue gum. Um, you can try gluing wax to there. That might work. Well, I just got that, so I just flipped that candle right there. Or anything that makes like a bump. All I'm gonna do is paint brown and then make it like drip. Now, I also have another idea that I just thought of that might work. Okay. The brown. Shake it up, of course. Man, that sometimes hurts. Put this. Have a cup of water. I say usually plastic cup. I remember we used to ruin our old tubs. Take the brown. It's already dry. Oh, uh, don't follow my words. It is not dry. Now this is going to be layers and layers and layers of stuff. On mine, there's a little round part, so I'm going to paint that as well. Alright, so, if we get 50 subscribers, YouTube allows me to go live. That means I can do live setups, and a bunch of live stuff. I went a little under, but that might work. Put this in here. And then take the green. Yeah. Actually, that's a like little too off. much. And I know it's like you take like it, drip years. it down. Oh, and try to take it down, drip it. Oh, my trouble sounds too. Fair enough. Sorry about that. I did not know that was going to happen. This works. I'm going to have to take it a little bit. Now when it mixes with the brown, because I'm not letting it dry, it actually looks kind of good. Looks a lot better. Kind of missed the part here. I'm just going to fill it up with that brownish green. This looks sick right now. Something could change though. And it could turn really go to the worst. It's good to mix the green and the brown. That makes it this yellowish type color. Putting it around the top. 
and we've gone 360. I'm gonna show you what to do. Try taking a little dab. Motion that's not work. So just make little specks. I just went haywire. Now it looks like someone's touched it. And then it's because I've touched it. Um, here's our first bottle. Um, I'm hoping this one will turn out a little bit better. But that's the first out of three. Let me just wash my hands. Actually, I'm gonna frost the second bottle. I'm gonna do all of it off camera because I've already showed the first bottle. I'm just gonna show you how it turns out. All right, so our second bottle is complete. Now, I need to add all this stuff. It's gonna be smaller at the top. So, there's that in and this in. Delete this was the original one. And it's not the original one. Take that brown. That was the catch of this video. Bam, slipped and just caught it right there. I'm gonna get some in details. Small take this. I hear a pooper. And that's not a good sign. No poopers. Come here. No poopers. Come here. That poopers is the one in the short. So, boo, look at the short. You can see what that ball I left is that. This one I like a lot better to the inside. And the cool thing about this is when it's all dried up, probably you can put some drinks in here. Maybe like red, um, like orange juice and what is it? Fruit punch. There, that's what I'm looking for. Fruit punch. We have this whole other bottle. Um, but shake. This will be the video, Shake. and now we're going to go on Shake. to another video where we finish up this bottle at the end, and we do the thing first. Um, we got this show at Liberty Thrift, practically just like a Goodwill. 
but when we were looking, we found this. This is a bottle holder, and it exactly fits three. So if you put this next to like a witch, I would say if you have a porch, put that under that. Um, it could even be hanging or standing. You can make a witch out of the dummy prop from uh, Spirit Halloween and their dummy props. Or you could just get a standable. So, do this. It fits on. Actually, I could probably put them on now. There it is. You have your Halloween bottles. Which is potion. Take that one out. And I'll show you a cool little effect. Bam. Alright. See ya.